All right, guys, so today we are going to make some pico de gallo. Now, this is not me making it. This is my sister, so this is a whole different way of making it. We have some jalapenos, some cilantro, some lemon, and tomates. And avocados, and she puts onions in hers. As you can tell, there's someone in the background that is excited to see this meal prepare. <laughs> oh, Carruth! So we're gonna go ahead and cut some jalapenos. How many jalapenos are you cutting? One. It just how one jalapenos with want. seeds or without? With seeds. So she's with adding the seeds, seeds in here. Yeah, so it could be spicy. Now you can take the seeds out, so it's not spicy. Yes. I like the seeds spicy. Next here, she is chopping up the onions. As you guys know, in my pico de gallo, I don't put the seeds with the jalapenos and I don't put onions. But everybody has their own style of making it. And again, you are able to make this how you want and add whatever you want to add to this. So when you're chopping your onions, you can go ahead and just chop them how you want. You can make a really, really small. You can put big chunks in there. Um, same thing with your jalapenos. You can cut those how you want. And as you could tell here, she has a little bowl that she's going to put everything in. Um, she does need a garbage bowl, as you can tell, guys. Uh. All right, so you're just going to go ahead and put this in the bowl and get it out of the way. And the next thing she's going to cut is what? Tomatoes. The tomatoes. How many tomatoes do you How many about how many do you think this feeds? Um, shoot. Like 12. 12 people. She used one jalapeno, one onion, and you're going to use all three of the tomatoes? Yes. And all three of the tomatoes. So while she goes and cuts these up, we'll show you what it looks like at the end and move on to the next. All right, so now she's cutting her cilantro. She basically just got, is it all of it? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. one whole one. One whole cilantro. She runs it out and just went ahead and she's chopping this up. Um, as you can tell in the bowl, she has added the tomatoes. So now she has the jalapenos with the seeds, the cebolla, and the tomatoes. She's cutting the cilantro. Next, I believe she's going to cut the avocado. Mm -hmm. And then she will finish the touch up with the lemon and if she adds salt to hers. Okay, now she has the avocado and she is going to cut it open. Everybody cuts their avocados different. Do you cut yours with the. Do you put your knife with the. Just I right just here. cut it in the middle. Just in the middle. Do you know how to do that trick though? What? To put your knife with the, the little ball. Oh yeah. Take it out. I don't know yeah. how to do it. Mm. Oh, there you go. Depending Thanks. how ripe it is, <laughs> it's slippery. My hands are very slippery. And so you just have to be careful while you're cutting it. Get it with the spoon and scoop it out. Oh, no. So now she's going to get the lemons. And these are big, so I'm only going to use a half. Now, I don't see seeds. If I seen seeds, I would flip it, but I don't see seeds. One did go in there. Let me have one. So guys, these lemons here, they are very big. She purchased these at... No. Target. Target. Wow, I need to get to my Target. They were 39 cents and they're huge. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so she's only going to put... Look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she only put one in there. This is her pico. She has her avocado, her tomatoes, and this is the little bowl that she used here. Um, which you, has a lot of good servings in there. And then do you add salt? Yes. Guys, this is something that takes not even 15 minutes to make, depending on how slow you are when you come to cutting everything you need for this little good snack. And salt or garlic? I put garlic oh. and salt. So she puts garlic in hers. Just a little bit. There's the garlic there. I don't put garlic in mine, but it does smell good. And then she adds the salt. 
nothing fancy on the salt if you want to use whatever salt you have in your home that's perfectly fine if you don't want salt then that's fine too but you will be missing out on a lot of flavor and then you just mix it up this is what you call a homemade pico de gallo some people put lemon some people don't some people don't put guacamole some but people when you're using them as a dip yep I personally like with the lemon because if no lemon, it's just too dry. And you can choose whatever chips you want to eat with this. I like to use Lay's, Mexican tortilla chips, sometimes Doritos, whatever floats your boat. Again, remember this is something that you're making on your own. If you are making for a party or any of that, um, well, just make it. And if nobody eats it, then more for you. All right, guys, so all she did is just put it in this little Tupperware and it's ready to serve. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos and till the next time.